Hello guys and girls, how's it going? Screezilla here and I hope you're all well. And today comes a long, long, long gap between Valkyria Chronicles. Yes, a new episode at last. With the current schedule, then we could be looking at the next episode in about 50 years or so. Who knows? But let's get started on Chapter 9, A Midsummer Incident. I was hoping for a who's there joke. Banquet with a princess. Oh, yeah. Well, you'll be watching a different kind of bird, I guess, Welkin. Welkin really is a bit of a whiny bastard, isn't he? No pleasing him, I swear. Wearing exactly the same hat. That doesn't sound like a trustworthy name. He's probably going to try and assimilate us. I'm just hoping there isn't that, you know, obscure stealth mission put into this game for this banquet. Would be nice to get away with not having one of those.
you look joyful. Welcome and Faldio were a bit worried about their headdresses being stupid. I am nearly at a loss for words. The lyrics of Gregory Keats is in your hands. It would be the greatest honor of my life, and I thank you for it. This valuable stone of ragtime and your persistence in singing the duet will become the foundation of your own art. In this time of terror, the foundation is grateful. Good old military orders, they mean so much, don't they? Kind of ominous, isn't it, really? You kind of feel this is going to go poorly. <clears throat> Yeah, you'd just walk into somebody with that headdress, wouldn't you? You wouldn't notice it at all.
Ooh, the plot thickens. Why were they letting her walk around unguarded in a time of war? It makes no sense! Looks like a mess. Yep, military does nothing, yet a free teenagers build aeroplanes. Wonder why Galia is in such problems. And onwards we go. We have an emergency on our hands. Princess Cordelia has been kidnapped by Federation operatives. The armed vehicle, sorry, the armored vehicle is carrying the princess. Is he, well, I'm not speaking well today. The armored vehicle carrying the princess is headed for the port at the southern end of the combat area. Spread out your soldiers and stop that vehicle. Objective is to disable the vehicle's engine and rescue the princess. Use rifles and machine guns to strike the vehicle's weak points and bring it to a stop. 
Explosive weapons like cannons, lances and grenades are off limits. The risk to the princess is too great. Letting the car reach either of these sorry, letting the car reach either of these two points will mean allowing their escape. We can't let that happen. We've also got word that Federation Special Forces have been sighted in the area. They'll be protecting the vehicle. They may be wearing Gallian uniforms, but they're really but they're real feds. Don't think twice about pulling those triggers. It's a dark night out there, you won't be able to get a visual on the enemies past a certain distance. Stay sharp. Okay. Victory! Armoured car's engine is destroyed. Failure! The armoured car explodes. I guess that's a failure. Reaches the harbour. I guess that's a failure. Welkin dies, of course. Enemy occupied the Gullion base camps, and 20 turns pass. Okay, let us get started. More position units. Uh, right, so... Welkin there. Misha there. And hmm. I think we'll go for Rosie. And Wendy, we'll put them in those back positions because they've not got much movement speed, so they probably are going to be best off there. We'll pop. Hmm. I'm thinking damage is going to be important. But I'm thinking also uh, visibility is not great, so maybe a sniper is not going to be the best option. Uh, let's go for. Here. And Salinas. There we go. We'll see how that squad setup goes. Hopefully that will be okay. Hopefully the vehicle won't be able to move too fast and we can sort of jump on it with all our machine gunners. Okay, let's see how we go. Failure is always an option. Okay, so the enemy's moving. Yes, ellipses. I agree. Okay. Room. Okay, so let's get started, shall we?
Okay, so. Hmm, where should I move the tank to? That is the question. So I can't go down these paths, so it's going to have to go down these two paths here. Now the Edelweiss... Where is that vehicle going to go to? So it's going to have to drive down here, I guess. Hmm. Let's have a bit of a look around with Alicia. Whoop. Lots of enemies there. Okay. We'll move her to there. I, I don't know how you're going to tell a vehicle's orientation from its headlights. I mean, it doesn't really give away if it's, you know, gay or... Sh oh, uh, direction, right, okay. Well, I don't see any headlights. Okay, there it is. Right, so it's going to come down this street. Alrighty. So it seems that the vehicle can fit down those paths. Alrighty, okay. Hopefully that's enough to block off the path. Rosie, I'm going to move you a bit, I reckon. That's Wendy. Okay, so I guess we'll leave her here. Akia, Akia. Okay, let's end this phase and see how we're going.
Okay, so we're going to be able to block the path twice. I've got an idea. Hopefully we don't get owned by uh, these guys. Okay. So, Edelweiss? these guys up. Now we're going to need to block off the path of that other road. So we're going to have to do another move on this one, it looks like, unfortunately. Which is going to affect our plan a little bit. But, if we can force the car down one of these two streets, we can get all our troops in sort of one position, hopefully. Switch to the machine guns. Let's see if we can't get a few shots on that vehicle. Well, that did nothing. We'll angle our armor. Not that it makes any difference. Okay. We'll leave the tank there for us. Okay. Rosie, we need you to move up a bit. Sniper on the roof, we really need to get rid of that one. Rosie, don't miss. Good job. Okay, awesome. Okay. Let's end this phase. Hopefully our plan will come together. Not Militia Squad 7! Okay, off the vehicle goes. Brum brum brum. Now we're going to have that Lancer come up to us. Good, not too much damage. We'll have to keep our back to him though.
No, that doesn't sound good. Reinforcements have arrived. Okay. So. The vehicle's going to take a bit of time to get there, so while we've got that time, I'm going to use the tank. Hopefully kill this guy. There we go, that's that Lancer down. Good job. Okay, I'm going to want to move the Edelweiss down the road a bit now for some support. Okay, so that's the base safe. Okay, we'll end there. So we can't go down that road, but we can go down this road. So, I guess we need to clear debris for that road though, um, but what it means is we can block this road off hopefully, and get them cornered. Hmm. Now the sniper's taken care of, so where do we want to move our girls to now? Or girls and boys. Maybe we'll do a scout run. So the vehicle's going to come down this street, hopefully. Okay, so that area's safe, so we're kind of safe on this side. We'll move Wendy up. And... We'll move Rosie up as well. Hopefully it won't take us too long to take this vehicle out. Okay, let's end this phase and see how we go. Okay, good, the vehicle's coming down that street. As was hoped. Hoped? As was hoped. So our plan seems to be coming together. I feel like I should be chomping on a cigar saying I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, so there's an enemy down there as well. So we might get flanked at some stage. We'll see what happens there. Hopefully it's not too hard to take out the vehicle, because if it is, that could really put a kibosh on this whole plan. Okay. Our turn again. Well... 
release it, leave the Edelweiss there. Probably has a gun on top of it. Yes, it does. Oh god. Okay, that thing hurts like heck. So we've got to be careful there. move you back here because you're going to die really quickly if you're out there too off too long let's move Wendy down as well to be close so hopefully these guys can take a few hits from that machine gun on top of that vehicle We'll see how that goes. And I think I'm going to move up Salinas as well. We're going to have as many machine gunners as we can over at that position. Hopefully that will give us the advantage. To keep an eye on our flank. One less scout to worry about. Got this ladder. And we will keep her up on here to keep a bit of a lookout. One more move. So let's use it to get Salinas up a bit closer to the action. Okay, let's end this phase and see how we go. Let's see how well our ambush plan works out for us. Okay, that machine gun hurts then, obviously. This plan may be an utter failure, and we may need to do another video. Not very optimistic about this one. Maybe sniping was the best option, but we'll soon find out. Okay, let's see how we go. Ah, beautiful. Okay, we can get right behind this thing. I guess this is going to take a few rounds to kill it as well, so we might 
move down. See how we go with this plan of action. Good job, Rosie. This thing's going to take a fair few hits to take out. Hmm. I guess we'll move you down as well. Probably not a good idea to have them all standing there, because as soon as it drives past, I reckon it's going to do a big bunch of damage. <laughs> Wendy, you're going to do some damage for us, kiddo. So hopefully it'll only take a couple more rounds to take out. And I will leave Wendy... Uh, I'll leave Wendy here, I guess. She will get shot at as soon as it moves, but... Well, maybe she'll hit it when it's moving. Let's hope it doesn't get a heal, because that will really put a dampener on this plan. Okay, good. That kind of worked out for us. Oh, it's moving again. May not have worked out for us then. See how we go. Fingers crossed. We might just get through this by the skin of our teeth. Okay, so how far away is it? Righto. Rosie, do your thing. Let's see how well you can do. Now, hmm. we'll go for a heal here. <coughs> Try not to choke. I'm going to move Rosie again. Okay, let's see how we go. Let's see if we can take this thing out. Yes! Job done! Okay, that wasn't too bad. It didn't take out many of the enemy soldiers, so it's not going to be a great experience one, but... 
The mission's complete. So the plan did work out well. Some good news. Okay, let's see how this chapter goes. Ye of little faith, I should have believed in myself more. Oh, Rosie, you're always so happy and optimistic. Largo's just concerned he's going to get put in front of a firing squad. Did the princess just, uh... Oh, okay, it was just the gut rumble. Good job, Squad 7. You fed her as well. Beware, feeding princesses can be like stray cats. They come back to you after time. Get the award ceremony as well. Ooh, exciting.
as always, you know, he did nothing other than block the car. But, you know, his squad mates don't get anything, because they just did all the work. Well, that's going to help a lot. Okay, and the last chapter for today. Well, last episode, not chapter. We're in a chapter. Who's there? Welcome. I'm coming in. Oh, not good at these jokes. Because it would bring doubt to a nation. Word got out about what happened. Dahlia's relationship with the Federation was nothing. We've got our hands full fending off the Empire. We can't afford a war on two fronts. So he has the whole thing covered up. I'll bet he goes on acting like it never happened. Look, in this hurt. It's painfully obvious how shaky Dahlia's standing is. I know the world's history is. Cover up stories. Two, so we've got the decorations tab now. You can view any awards you've been you've earned in the decorations tab. We can get the princess to award them in person. Okay. So let's save up. Go to the tab select. Right, we didn't want that one, did we? Let's go. To do, 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 headquarters. That's what we wanted. So I will endeavour to try and get the next episode up a little bit sooner than the last. Well, this one. Um, try not to have such a long gap between them. 
Uh, let's check our R&D facility. Leon, bro. It's funny how I've never noticed that plane in here before. Let's see if there's any developments on weapons. Aha. So we can boost to a new model of the uh, rifles. Okay, machine guns, nothing new in there at the moment, nothing new for the Lancers, sniper rifles however, uh, we've got a higher powered version, and one that knocks a enemy's aim down but less range on them and a little bit worse aiming on them grenade upgrade well always good we'll upgrade that one yeah bro um, oh a new uniform upgrade huzzah yeah bro I know all good bro Okay, so that's all good. So our current accuracy is C on those. Um, get some better firepower can always be useful. But range is also useful too. Uh. I think the S2 is going to be our best option. Better accuracy. And what was the other thing I had? Sniper rifles. There was nothing I wanted to change in there, was there? No. Okay. Just check the Edelweiss. So, new sights. New armor. Lots of new toys and gadgets to play with. But we're pretty full on that area. We'll leave it as it is for the moment. Sure thing, bro. And let's go to the Castle Front Street and see if there's any new news stories up for us from last time. Go two new stories. So, princess kidnapping fail uh, foiled. A wall exclusive scoop. Early this morning, on the twenty third, Princess Cordelia, Cordelia was abducted and taken forcibly from the grounds of Castle Ran Rangris. Subsequent investigation has shown the culprit was Federation Ambassador Townsend. In Gallia. On an official visit, after a banquet at the castle, he forced the princess into an armoured vehicle he had prepared and made for the port. Thankfully, his escape was thwarted by members of the 7th Squad of the Gallian Militia, who safely recovered Princess Cordelia in time. The Gallian government has declined to address this matter publicly, likely in an effort not to endanger relationships with the Federation, while Gallia remains locked in combat with the Empire's forces. Castle... Castle Rander... 
Castle Randegraz's audience hall saw an awards ceremony on the 28th, in which militia officer Lieutenant Welkin Gunther, aged 22, was presented the prestigious Galleon Medal of Honor, given to those who have gone above and beyond the call of duty in service of Gallia's interests. The unicorn embezzle emblazoned medal was presented by Princess Cordelia herself, who also graced the young soldier with wishes for his continued loyalty. After the ceremony, Gunther addressed the press, saying that he had hoped to do right by this honour, by becoming a better man and, on, and officer. Medal hung proudly around his neck. The Gunther family has the rare distinction of being among the first to receive this highest of awards twice in as many generations. Okay. And we've got a new option there. So invest in that one. That's all right, costing us a million there almost. Okay. So, we will pretty much end the video here today. Um, we'll end on this section. Yeah, yeah, usual bullshit crap from you being all grr, I'm an officer. Uh, let's... We can up our scouts, our scout troops, and our snipers. Um, yeah, I'd say that works. Okay. So I leveled up our base troops. Jolly good, new potential for snipers. And all units evade. Okay. Jolly good. So we'll end the video here, and I will see you next time for more Valkyria Chronicles. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Bye bye.